It's 11.22 p.m. right now. What we're gonna do is another cooking video. I feel like this is just becoming a cooking channel. Anyways, this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna, okay, wait, wait. Today, we're gonna try, no, we're not gonna try. Today, we're gonna choose a random country and cook their national dish. We need to be quick because it's 11.22 p.m. and the nearest um, shop closes at midnight, so we need to hurry up. You know we should say tonight instead of today because it's not day. It just sounds cooler as well. Tonight. Tonight. Tonight on this channel. We're gonna be choosing a random country and cooking their national dish. Okay, oh yeah, wait! So this video, we've actually got, um, I got my brother here, but I've also got my daughter here as well. You can search it up and I'll just stand here. All right, so what we're gonna do is random country generator. All right, do you wanna click it or should I click it? You click it. What do you think is gonna be? Lithuania. Lithuania. What do you think Lithuanians eat? Um, <laughs> bricks. No, by the way, if you're Lithuanian, <laughs> stop eating bricks. Oh my God. Yeah. You got Bulgaria and their flags are quite close as well. Okay, okay, what is, what are you doing? So today we're cooking Bulgaria's national dish. What do these men eat? Cut no, that no, out. No, no, we are, we are. No, we're not cooking. We're not, let's see what their dish is first. Their national dish is a Shropska salad. Are we making a, we're not making a salad. No, we're not. Wait, let me check. Shop Salad. Bro, it's oh, just it's a regular salad. salad. No, we're not doing. I'm sorry. I'm sure it must be a nice salad, but I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna have to do another one. You, you refresh it. Oh, we got. We need to hurry up. We got half an hour. Alright, come on, let's go. It's there. midnight in half an hour. Okay, whatever this is, we have to do it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Drum roll, please. That might be a shower. We got Egypt. What do Egyptians eat? Koshari. What's koshari, bro? You know what? Because we don't have time, we're gonna find the rest. Of, we're gonna find the ingredients on the way, and then we're gonna get them. We're gonna bring them back here, and hopefully, we're gonna start cooking at around midnight. Today, we're gonna be cooking Egypt's national dish. It's 11.34, we're on our way to the shop now. Guys, what is going on here? We got our trolley ready for us. Bro, we got here with like 10 minutes to spare. The only people here are the workers and us. We made it. All right guys, so got to Asda with about 10 to 15 minutes to spare. Quickly got everything and left. This surprised me though. There's not too many ingredients, so it shouldn't be too difficult. The thing that's confusing me here is that we're mixing lentils with macaroni and rice. So these are the ingredients. I don't know why I started already. We got lentils, macaroni, rice. We got chickpeas. We got distilled malt vinegar. We got batteries, because if this fails, we need to charge it. We got batteries, because if this fails, we need to charge it. That was actually a good one. <laughs> And we got cat because I this one, it. when you put it in the microwave, strong, <laughs> it gets bigger. You're so cute in the camera, look it. Wave. Okay, so should we get started with this? Kashari recipe. <laughs> Let's teach our new trick. All right, Kenzie, you need to jump here now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. No, no, Kenzie, come on, please. Yes. Yes, she did it. Okay, now go on the sofa. Go on, you can do this. You can make this jump. Fizz, encourage her, man. Kenzie, get your ass on that sofa. Kenzie. All right, come on. Backflip. It's 12.15 a.m. Why, why are you always cooking at these times? All right, so it says add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add the garlic. Okay, let's, let's get going. Really quickly before we start cooking, thank you to Air Up for sponsoring this video. We're gonna play a quick game. All right, so. Is it gets the flavor? Yeah, that's what I guess. Gonna, what we're gonna do, you fill this up with regular water, you put like a little pod on it, and then you drink it, and it tastes of what the pod is, but nothing's inside the, the water. Anyways, we're gonna play the Air Up What Flavor Is It Challenge. What flavor is it challenge? All right, so. This is actually therapeutic, you know. Okay. I like the packaging. It looks very like, you know, it looks hip. I like it. Well, well done, Air Up. Do you want them to sponsor you, Fizz? Yes, please. Okay, do I just put it in the thing? Yeah. Good. That is strawberry. It's not. Mm. It's not. That is 100% strawberry. It's strawberry lemongrass. You get no points because you missed one out. But that's what so. the lemongrass taste was. I was wondering what the lemongrass is in there for. Are you doing a weird thing? No, no! And it went too quiet. I was like, this guy's doing body language, bro. This one's so bait. Like, I can smell it from here. Nah. This packaging is really, really good. Like, it's just nice. I feel like a like You know a they're not paying you. I don't care. I'm, I'm doing it with the kindness of my heart. I feel like a kid when, they, when they're given, like, slime balls. Like, I just want to... <laughs> you know? Okay, what? Thanks. That's lime or lemon or something. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. How do you think Arabs are gonna feel when they see the video and they see it? Is your face covered <laughs> for the whole of the sauce? <laughs> hey, Arab, I'm here. Oh my god, it's bright in here. Oh, wait, one more, one more, one more. Okay, can how long does this take? I'm trying to milk it. Wait, this one's weird. Yeah, this is the hardest one I think. That you've given me. Is that a pear? Uh, yeah. <laughs> French kids when they see their dad. What the hell? The strawberry one's actually bare night. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, we're gonna get back to the video. I don't know if I have a link. If I have a link, it's gonna be in my bio. If I don't have a link, then you're not gonna see this part of the video. Okay, okay. First instruction. We need to heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a mi- What's your favorite Egyptian word? Um, did you know what? There's a street in Egypt called Faisal Street. And what's your name? Faisal. You just reminded me. What? There's a school in Egypt there's just a school in Egypt. Apparently, Kashari was created in the mid 19th century. <laughs> not, not in the good 19th century. Apparently. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is the onions. Oi, do we have flour? We need the flour. Kenzie, first thing we need to do is the onions. Toss the thinly sliced onions with flour in a large bowl. Guys, we don't have like bacon flour, but I still have like almond flour from my macaron cooking video. So I think we're just gonna use this. We need to do our <laughs> mandatory knife throw. No, not with that. <sighs> ah, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay, stop. we're gonna try it. Throw the knife up and it lands like that on the onion. Okay. <gasps> it bluntified my knife. It's gone wonky now. So to chop your onions, place a large deep sided skillet over medium high heat and add the vegetable oil. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, she doesn't like the smell of onions. <laughs> Guys, face is excited again because he's got his scooper thingy. Wow, that was really scoopy. All right, now we're gonna mix the almond flour into that. Let's fry the hell out of this almond flour. You ready? What? Pop it. Wait. What are you doing? It's blunt. Remember, I broke it. No, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Now you ruined it. Scoop. Okay, we're gonna get our almond flour. Let's go. That should be enough. I think we need more. All right, go on. That, why, why'd you put so much? Go on, give it a little toss. <laughs> toss up. Wait, why is it all at the bottom though? Maybe this is just the bits that I couldn't find any surface area to get stuck on. A little bit so I couldn't find any surface area. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, now we're gonna move on. To, can we turn off the water? Now we're gonna move on to the next workstation, which is stove region. And we are going to fry these onions. I'm excited to see how it will turn out with the almond flour. Okay, so Faisal has added the oil off camera as usual. Okay, I'm gonna test one now. Onion. So we're gonna dump all of this in. It's gonna be a big shoo. But you know, I was actually gonna start a, um, I was gonna start a company in Egypt. Really? I was gonna start a business in Egypt. What? And then, and then I clocked that I was gonna, get, I was getting scammed. What? Yeah. When? It was a pyramid scheme. <sighs> Shut up. I'm gonna put pepper. I want some salt. Hey, what do you, what do you call it when you? Pyramid scheme. How long does this have to fry for? I don't know, until it gets brown <laughs> and turns into a pyramid. All right, yeah. now we need to boil some water and then we're gonna cook the lentils. I just realized this is a vegetarian dish. There's no meat or fish involved in this. How are you feeling about your first vegetarian meal? Meal in ages. Except I'm feeling for... very environmental, very environmentally conscious. I feel like I'm gonna save the planet like this. Literally, like, might as well build a tree. How's that coming along, Chief? Pretty much the same. All right. You sure that's enough? All right, and then we wash it. All right, so that's lentils washed. Now I'm just waiting for the water to boil and then we're gonna put the lentils in. Guys, unfortunately, I don't think Faisal is gonna be a part of this video anymore. I'm just gonna take over from now. Seems very preoccupied at the moment. Can't leave. Why? Held hostage. All right, so water's boiling, onions burning. I'm gonna add the lentils in now. Gonna explode, get out then. Three, two, one, lentils done. I'm gonna read what I need to do next. All right, now we need to set a 20 minute timer for the lentils. I went on my calculator. So I'll do it manually. It's 20 now. 19. No, no, look, they're all transforming. They're all going up. Look at them. It looks like a fizzy drink. It's like a fizzy drink at Whole Foods. Oh, it was you. I thought it was science. Me. Oh my God, look. There's a dance battle going on with the lentils. <laughs> look at that. There's a little rave going on. Can you get back to your job, mate? Thank you. You stop distracting. Where? Come back. Kenzie, come back. Come back. You need to stop distracting him, okay? We're gonna change the seating plan. Guys, it's, um, it's currently, what's the time? It's 1.24 a.m. All right, so now we're gonna take the onions off the heat because they look very... This. How do you describe this? What Brown. It's got like a bit of a, like a burnt, crispy taste. I meant to smell. Oh, oh yeah, it does. It smells like Egypt. I'm getting a bit of sphinx. Really? Look, smell it. That's Tutankhamun right there. Oh, it just makes me feel like a mummy. Okay, okay, let's do the word association. We have to say a random word at the same time. And then the next word we have to say, we need to make a link between the words that we just said. Okay. So like, just say a random word now. Three, two, one, Table. laptop. Okay, three, two, one, desk. desk. Dude! All right, all right, again. Three, two, one. Pasta. Door. Huh? Door. I said pasta, and you said door. Come on, think, think, face up. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. Restaurant. <laughs> dude, we're freaking like this, dude. Like this. Like locked in. Like. Okay, I'm gonna put the onions in a separate bowl. This is what they look like up close. Oh yeah. We need to actually remember to do a thumbnail this time. How do we do a thumbnail for this one? That's the timer done. So lentils off the burners, and then we want to drain it now. Three, two, one. Lentil. Lentil. I love lentils. <laughs> I'm not eating all that. <laughs> I'm not eating that. Guys, look. This is how much onion we have. Could probably fit in my hand like this. Look how much lentil we have. Look. Oh, this could be thumbnail. What do I do? Smile. I'm not doing that. <laughs> do Just pretend you saw like the, the lentil spoke to you. <laughs> Macaroni time, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put the- Bro, why are you- Move from the camera, man. My turn, my turn. Fit the thumbnail. 
So now we need the we need the garlic. Here you go, guys. New camera angle, so you don't get bored of seeing the same one. Okay, once Fisher's done with this, we're gonna put this in the pan, fry it for a minute, and then we're gonna add the tomato sauce and the chickpeas. So this is finally where chickpeas actually make a feature in this video. Oh, look at that. Anyways, um, this should be done now. Oh my god, I was mixing it. I took the fork out and look. It got colonized. Wait, who did Egypt get colonized by? The Brits. So why can't they speak English? They can. All right, now we're going to move on to the garlic. Camera pan. Okay, wait, it needs to go down. Say smash that like button. Smash that like button. And don't forget to... Subscribe. And... Subscribe. All right, let's go. Let's cook this. Okay, now we need to saute. Next camera angle. Just watch the transition. As I go like this, you turn the camera. Okay, you ready? All right, guys, next camera position. We're going to go... So this is all we got so far, yeah? We got the macaroni there, got the lentils here, we got Kenzie sleeping! Hello! He's so cute. Okay, okay, let's ask. Guys, what's your favourite... Okay. What's your favourite movie? Why is no one responding? Guys? Is this thing on? Wait, are they not there? There you go. Guys? What the hell? Let me check my hand cam. Are we on mute? Bro, what the hell? What the hell? Guys, what's your favorite movie? Is this a joke? It was funny like, to start off with, and now it's you're overdoing it. This is gonna become a new thing where you just ignore. I still kinda wanna eat, but I think we should just turn off the cameras. Yeah, alright. You <laughs> bro! You got pranked! <laughs> okay, sorry, take me too far. <laughs> so try to do a big heart like this. <laughs> you just can't do the bottom of it. It's like a pyramid. Okay, let's make a pyramid. Go like this. Okay, I think we could put the garlic in. Let's see if you can jump the highest. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Why am I hot now? Why am I hot? Need to open a window, bro. Okay, I think this is sauteed for over a minute, mate. This is how it's looking now. Garlic. This is a Passata unboxing challenge. Try not to unbox the Passata. RE flop. All right, putting this in. Look at that. Okay, now we add the cooked chickpeas as well. This is cooked chickpeas, by the way. This looks like astronaut food. <laughs> Say wallah. I'm joking. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. That was too realistic. Guys, for context, yeah, he tried to trap my fingers inside the drawers. No, no, no. Let's add the chickpeas in. <laughs> Chickpea Beyblade. Should we do synonym off? So we'll say a random word. We have two seconds to say a synonym of the adjective, okay? Okay, until one of us runs out. You, you say the first word. Just say the first okay. word that comes to mind. Big. Humongous. Colossal. Ginormous. Enormous. Enormous. <laughs> <laughs> This is harder than I expected. Okay, guys, you play along as well, yeah? Small. Tiny. Minute. Minuscule. Mini. Tiny. Eeny weeny. <laughs> Dynamic. <laughs> Dinosaur. All right, um, happy. Fortnite. <laughs> happy. Elated. Ecstatic. Over the moon. Katana. <laughs> oh, should we have a katana fight? I win. <laughs> I win. Oh, you are judging. I don't play around. Oh, we need to put the chickpeas in. Guys, I'm bringing it to you so you can see properly. Wait, it's not even in the camera, bro, so I just didn't bring it to anyone. Thumbnail. Too many thumbnails, bro. Wait. Felt like I was in Japan. All right, so this is a uh, coriander chopping lesson. How long does that need to simmer for? Uh, I said 10 minutes. Oh, we, did you set a timer? No, I don't do timers. I cook with the heart. Did I cut anything? No. Did it look cool? Yes. Do you think people watch this with their families? Guys, do you this? watch this with your family? Or do you watch it by yourself? If you do, say hi to your parents. If they're watching with their parents, then you can say, say hi, hi to their parents. parents. Hi, parents. Three, two, one. Coriander. Coriander. I think we just address whatever's in front of us. I'm gonna have a bite of this. Oh yeah, let's, let's do a crunch test. Do you know what this looks like? It looks like fried worm. Did I ruin it for you? You know what this looks like? It looks like yummy onion. That's, That's nice. Go, go, go. Look at this. Well, who are those people um, in the Formula 1 that change the tyres? Oh yeah, um, the tyre changes. Okay, okay, so I chop this and Fisa changes the tyres. Alright, you ready? Yep. Swap. Move. Swap. Swap. Go. Oh yeah, I swear, dude, we're literally making coriander protein shakes now. This is ground coriander. Three, two, one. Fun out! <laughs> three, two, one. Fun out! out. Alright, so we've made the sauce. I'm gonna do three. Oh, that's a lot of vinegar, you know. One sec, guys, I need to pan the camera to face on. There we go. Zoom nice. in, zoom in. Make it zoom in. Is that enough? Look at that. Have some of that. That looks very, very, very Egyptian. This looks like it's really coming, coming along together very well. But I don't know. We'll have what? to get some Egyptians in the comments. You know, the, whoever named Egyptians Egyptians must have been taking a piss. Because Egyptians I'm... don't say the letter G. I am Egyptian. Egyptian. How do you say pyramid in Arabic? In Arabic, pyramid is Harum. Harum. Harum al Qahira. Qahira is Cairo, isn't it? Giza. How do you say Giza in Arabic? Pyramids of Giza. Oh, I thought you meant like Giza. Guys, pyramids of Giza. 
Jesus Christ! Talaya your kashari has pictured. Aha, uh -huh, I get it. I'm gonna drag you into the frame. Meant to look something like this. Yeah, but then the reflection. And then the angular reflection. What? Look at that. Wait, this is meant to simmer. It's not simmering. It's. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is the rice would have been long to cook, so we bought made it ready made. So we need to fry that. If it's just enough salt. The guy loves adding salt. Why is too much salt bad for you? I found this on the web. Okay. I'm just gonna read it out. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, burn and joint problems. Oh, take the salt out. Take the salt out. <laughs> the rice is going in, guys. Am I meant to look at the camera or the. Look in the camera. Okay. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna season it up with our own little spice blend. We're gonna try and make it as Egyptian as possible. So, what that means is we're gonna follow our hearts because we are close to Egypt, ethnically. It goes us and then Tunisia and then Libya, then Egypt, right? So, in like three bus stops away. So, we should be able to spice tastes like Egypt. And I have watched The Prince of Egypt. All right, so classic Egyptian seasoning. The Pharaoh himself used to sniff this when he was killing babies. Did he fun. kill babies? Bro, the Pharaoh, uh, he, you know, the Pharaoh, do your research. He's in contention for being possibly the worst human ever. Really? He killed babies. He got away with it. Dude, cancel culture is getting too far, man. This mm. wokeism too far. Rice is pretty much fried off. So we're done. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've done all the ingredients. Guys, it's assembly time. We're gonna change the angle. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Dumble. Good morning, everyone. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Not loud enough. Let's One try that time. again. Let's be more excited for this day. I said, Good morning, everyone. Long live our noble queen. God save the God king. king. His monolius. Abby and his nephews and aunts. <laughs> Isn't it ironic how we went from kids in assemblies to the royal family? Because they would have done the same thing. The um, primary school to uh, Buckingham Palace pipeline, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. How did you go from there today? You know how? Prince Andrew. He built the tunnels for the pipelines himself. They're not literal pipelines. Flipping imbecile, bro. Kenzie's is still sleeping. Star of the show, mate. Word. Cutie pie. You're so spoiled. Look at her, she's getting double massage, bro. Actually, it's everyday spa day, bro. All right, guys, and so now this is the assembly time. So um, my sous chef over here is gonna bring over the ingredients, and this is where we start to pile everything on top of each other. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a little competition, all right? We're gonna have the same image in front of us. We're gonna see who can assemble it better and create a better piece of food art. Do you know who the judge is gonna be? Who? Egyptians watching this. I know you're there. At number one, we have, this is gonna be our base. Next is our lentils. Lentils. Or in Urdu, Dal. And then red. I forgot the name. Tomato sauce with chickpeas red. And, and other stuff. And then almost getting to the top, guys. You almost reached the summit. Macaroni. Macaroni. We're back in Italy. You've reached the summit. That's it. That's the top. All right. Now this is canvas number one for the piece of art that we're gonna create. And this is canvas number two. It's 3 a.m., bro. What's the time in Egypt? Hey Siri, what is the time in Cairo? 5:09. Five in the morning. So, so you are just waking up. So you know what? We're gonna give you this for breakfast. <laughs> And that way, you'll be more alert, you know, <laughs> we're going to run into the booby trap. Alrighty, so, to run through this again, we're going to put this in order. Okay, it goes rice, so this is how it looks here. So, first layer is the rice, then we got the lentils, then the macaroni, and then the tomato, and then it gets topped up with this. So, let's get started then. Rice first. Don't use too much. Alright, here's the rice. Try and make it as nice and circular as possible. And then we want to add second layer, which is lentils. Lentils now. I want to put this very gently, very lightly, so that they don't go over the edges. Okay, they all went over the edges. It's fine. There we go. Lentils done. Okay, next up we got macaroni. Let's see how that's looking. And now we use some of this paste. Oh, the paste is still nice and hot as well. It's lovely because everything else is kind of cold. And then, last but not least, nice crunchy caramelized almond flour covered onions. Gonna have some coriander. Give it some color. Give it some pizzazz. Like it looks like presentable. We give it a little spin. Yeah, you can see you got the the different layers are very visible. They're very clear. The user knows what they're eating. They know what they're consuming. I think it's good presentation. Why am I rating my own food? Why are you dropping my food on the floor? Okay. And you know when you bent it like that, pyramid, it turned into the Sorry. leaning pyramid of Giza. Okay, it's face us turn up. So we're gonna take my masterpiece, put it to one side. So what are you doing? I'm using my hand to to um, you know give it a good foundation. So I'm gonna scoop out some of that lentil. I'm telling you, people. We're gonna start using this as recipe video. All right, macaroni time. So now you see how the macaroni needs to be pressed flat a bit. But I don't want it to spill over the side, and it just ruins the image. No one wants to eat that, right? My customers waiting outside. They're waiting for some quality shari, right? I've got three people lined up waiting for this. Right? And if I give them something that doesn't exceed their expectations, why are you doing a I'm whole gonna monologue? be disappointed. Can you All make right. your kachori? Look at that! Look at that, bro! It's it's literally spitting image. You got a mini one. I got a big I got one. one. Now it's the crispy oh, onion. Oh, this time. is the this is the the cherry on top. Get me my coriander carrot. Camera, camera man, get it now. Thank you. Open up. Open your hand. Coriander delivery. Do, 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 
Look at that. Are you proud of it? Um, bro, this is this yeah. is the best Kashari since Tutankhamun, since Morsi took power. Kenzie. What's that? Mommy. What else is Egyptian? The Nile turned into a river. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. To make this have like more of that round shape that they have in the picture. All right, good like that. And we're gonna turn it. Okay, there we go. Give it a little gravity pat down. What did this just to get dunked on by mine? And then this on. And look, this is a Qatari reveal. Is it boy or a girl? You ready, yeah? It looks exactly the same, except flatter and more buzz. Whereas mine, this looks like, if you saw this and you didn't see who made it, you would think it's a 59 year old Egyptian woman who lives in Alexandria who made this with 12 grandchildren from one child. Whereas this, this looks like someone made for a YouTube video. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> That's actually a good one. All right, time to eat. Come on. Um, do I have appetite? Come on. Do I have appetite? Get the get the spoon. Do I have appetite? Get the spoons. Come on. Here comes the airplane. Ah. All right, get the spoon. This. Are you trying to feed a family of four? Yeah, because as I said, I'm a 59 year old Egyptian woman. All right, guys, this is our first time tasting Egypt's national dish. Let's get stuck in. So we just go down the middle. I'm assuming. You can't get everything. Mine is perfect for like spoon, one spoonful. Because you just go like that. That's it. I've got everything on one thing. But you, you have to go. You just have to start digging. I'm good. This is nice. This is very good. <laughs> I like this. Mm. This is very good. When I was cooking it, cooking the different things, I didn't see how it all come together. But now it's making sense in my mouth. The sweetness of the tomato and then the lentils to like bring it all together. I'm going to have another bite. No, no, no. See, even Kenzie wants to eat. Kenzie, this is not for you. It's a human food. You're not human. You're a sphinx. So at Egypt, you got nice food, good music. You got three pyramids. What more do you want? A river? Oh wait, you got that too. Guys, is there anything you want to add? This dish. So much I can say about it. So I'll keep it short. Flavors, combination, very, very good. Rate it out of 10. Judging it strictly as a vegetable dish, I'll rate it. I really like the concept and we might have butchered it, who knows. But yeah. I feel like this in like a restaurant, like just a little bit, this would slack. I give it 8 out of 10 as well, can't I? Macaroni and rice and lentils. Like, I was thinking, how is that going to work? But it did. Do you know if the pyramids were detachable, do you think the British Museum would take it? There would be a pyramid museum in Britain. It's actually 4 a.m. Oh yeah, and let us know which one you think looked better. Mine. Easily. No, but mine was Cool. And think about it, it's just better to eat because as you go down, you're going, you slice through all the layers and it was exactly the height of the spoon. So as you go down, you get every single layer and it's like dig, 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 layer and then you eat it and all the flavors just go in your mouth like a washing machine. Well, you could be an adult and just put all of them on the, on the spoon. If Faisal has made a YouTube account by the time this video comes out, go and subscribe. The link will be in the description. My first video will be in this exact same video. Oh, you're just going to repost this? Retweet it. Kenzie, do you want to say bye to everyone? She wants, to, she wants to cook. Let her gag. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I've been Amazian. Faisal. You can say I've been Faisal. I've been Faisal. And we've been making Kashari. Say thank you for watching, man. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Cleopatra, for coming up with this. You snap. <laughs> you friggin' snap, girl.